Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning July 5th, 2021. Here we go. This is the ride of our lives. Now, what this looks like, not sure, but it definitely has this feeling, and I'm gonna put it in a very human way, of people sitting back with their popcorn like, Oh, saw that coming. <laughs> Oop, we knew that was eventually going to happen. This is justice. This, this is the energy of someone getting caught. Now, again, we don't want to go down this road of like, ha, ah, our enemies have fallen because then we're just part of the problem, right? <laughs> so we don't want to do that. But there is definitely, I'm also getting the image of a, a tennis match. We're watching this thing happen over here and then it gets kicked over here and now we're watching to see if they're going to kick anything back and we're just kind of going back and forth but still being a spectator and still staying out of it when it, so we got to get better at discerning when to jump in to a scenario okay if you see someone getting assaulted you do something you help them okay be safe about it but help them this isn't that thing this is more of they're saying heavy hitters these are the heavy hitters that have um, been controlling the strings here this could be the fall of a a mogul uh, a real estate mogul another type of mogul um I don't know that this will make it to the news just yet. I don't know that it's that thing. This is more of, um, it's happening behind the scenes. So, I think it what was it, a couple of weeks ago, I was making a joke. I was like, it's not like someone just comes, like law enforcement comes storming in and just handcuffs you and <laughs> takes it out, take you, takes you out. But this might be happening to some people who just thought they were above it all and that they were above the rules and they're better than everybody and I don't have to play by that game and whatever. Okay, so there's some energy around that. But what this is doing, this uncovering, is actually breaking us free. I want to be careful as always. If you're like, Michelle, you always tiptoe on. I know, but like something just kind of came out there, but it could ignite toxicity and I don't want to do that I'm not partaking in that but this is something it's some people coming out with the told you so kind of energy told you so we've been saying that that's going to happen for forever and you should listen to us <laughs> but again that's not helpful all right so again watch the self-righteousness because what this is going to do to us emotionally um whatever this is okay or maybe this is happening kind of in your personal life what have you is is it's going to make us want to stand up and uh initially stand up and do something initially stand up and be angry or you know initially stand up and whatever whatever doing the thing um fighting coming together to fight that's not the answer we know that does not work just know that the necessary things are happening so people are being exposed um predators are getting caught um you know, people in power are finally not getting to bully people anymore. And so it's reform. And uh, the way that, the reason why we need to hear this is not just for the drama of it and sit back and like watch to see what occurs, because again, it may not hit the news, okay? Um, but instead of doing that, let's have a supportive energy where we are solid and in place with who we are so that we're not we're not being immature about it. That's kind of how I want to say, right? Well, we're not letting our emotions get the best of us. We're not just trying to be right. We're not just being prideful. We're not just trying to argue. You know what I'm saying? We're not just trying to control one another. We're not doing that. Spread the memo. We're not doing that anymore. Okay, let me, let me get this. I just felt something come through. Okay. In, okay, so people in power who have historically tried to hide their insecurities and their fears by feeding off of people, um, show's over. The show is over. I don't know. This might, 
I'm trying to get a feel for how this might look because I know the you know practicality <laughs> that's what we look for here um, this is kind of like people standing up and speaking about their experiences and not being afraid to say no something sketchy is going on there we're seeing more documentaries about things where people are coming out and talking about their stories God knows I have story after story after story of things you would not believe you would not believe and um, being threatened into silence and you know it's happened <laughs> so you know I, I think that I may not be the person coming out and telling my story this week but I think there will be more again this information coming to light and of course there will be the other side that says oh you misunderstood you are the problem you didn't do it right you oh you jumped to conclusions and you you know there's going to be a lot of this stuff but this is going to be undeniable i just heard that this is going to be undeniable it's going to be right there in our face and they're saying lots and lots and lots of proof um i'm seeing craft too but that's not the only topic <laughs> there's a lot going on here there's a lot going on here, but it's what needed to happen. And it's the shift that we've been on a soul level, pinging out to the universe and asking to have happen. All right. So what can we do with this? Stay steady, stay in alignment, be doing your spiritual practice. Don't be doing it from an ego standpoint or just trying to uh, compete with other people. If you show up to yoga class, that doesn't make you spiritual. If you especially show up to yoga class in that certain brand that I absolutely refuse to name because I personally am boycotting it. I don't like the history of that company. I know, self-righteous, but whatever. <laughs> like, I don't stand by what they stand for. But, you know, they're super expensive clothes and you're just showing up to show off. You're not spiritual. And it's really time for those who aren't going to be helping to raise consciousness to just get out of the way, <laughs> right? If you're not gonna help, have a seat, <laughs> right? You know, this we don't need people in here um, misguiding others. Um, watch for religious zealots too, or extremists of any kind. Be careful with that, because now it becomes more of like a cult mentality than really helping you spiritually open. I had somebody leave a comment about a certain somebody out there who's just, uh, down on what we do here and someone was like well I don't know this person said turn on your discernment you don't pick up that this person has an agenda has always had an agenda has made a lot of money from that agenda but we've always had to say stay silent because couldn't say anything because those are the people in power so power structures are definitely crumbling they're definitely turning. Now, if you are an opportunist, if you feel like you are somebody who has been, you know, pressed down by these people, and then you're like, ha ha, it's my turn to rise up. You're gonna, someone's going to swat at you too and be like, <laughs> quit missing the point. Like the point is not to replace this, you know, corrupt power dynamic with another corrupt power dynamic. You feel me? All right. So this is going to be, take care of yourselves. Just take care of yourselves. Just stay really <laughs> level. Keep the light going. And don't let yourself get pulled into these narratives that are meant to polarize us and turn us against one another. We need to get smart about this. All right, let's get onto the cards. Work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. This is gonna, it's gonna be a shake up behind the scenes. If it makes it to mainstream news, I'd be shocked, whatever this is, because it would spark panic in people. And we would have what we had where people were rushing out and getting supplies and hoarding and <laughs> don't do it, okay, don't do it. Don't give in to the fears. Work through your fears. Because what we're seeing is something that has been a long time coming. Transformation. New moon in Scorpio. Scorpio is all about transformation. And so if we're going to sit here and be in fear, 
about what we're seeing and reacting to it, you're getting in the way. You're holding it up. Okay. I don't know if this is the platform for me to talk about some of these things. There's heaviness. There's heavy. Oh. Ugh. Okay, let's just say governments revealing secrets. We're in a big time of truth. There are going to be shocking elements to this, and that's what gets people angry and makes them want to rise up. Don't do it. Luck is on your side. Let's let's keep this. Okay, so it got taken out there. It's it's put out there now. The the information. Don't put bad energy behind it, and then we hold up our growth. Okay, luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. It's saying let the clearing happen. Instead of getting mad about something, get focused. Not on revenge or anything like that, but okay, that mess is now broken open. We can process it. Let's come through. Let's move through this. And this will help us manifest a brand new chapter, a brand new way of being, you know, a new way of bringing some lovely energy into this and it not being about power struggles. We keep saying this, not about being power and power struggles. It's not about being right or wrong or, um, our pride or our status or whatever. And again, I, I know some people go after uh, status because they want to protect their family. And really what they're doing is they're playing into the game. Well, this is the elimination of the game, which might send some of those people who are big into the game playing, scrambling. They will have no sense of self. They have nothing to anchor into now that this is no longer there, okay? Then we have the answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini. That's information, 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 information. And it is a wake up call. It is, you're seeing the two-faced nature of what's been presented to us. We're seeing the multifaceted facts is what I'm hearing. So the answers are coming. This is gonna be a turn because I hate to say that 2021, I mean, there's a lot that's been happening here in this year, but then we've had kind of a quiet spell. I mean, stuff is still being revealed. There are secrets coming out and all that stuff. I mean, as far as like the global stuff, it's been kind of, it's been there. We feel it, but we haven't, we haven't seen it be presented. We're coming into that time where it will be presented again, maybe not out in mainstream media, but we'll see. We'll see what that looks like. All right. What do we have here? We have... Believe in the impossible blue moon. Something is occurring that we never would have imagined. It's breaking open. Um, again, some of you may watch this video and come back in the comments and say, nothing happened this week, me, 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 me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that we saw, okay? Something's going on behind the scenes. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. So this is definitely something we've never seen before. And if you're like, really? We've seen everything. <laughs> How is it even possible to have one more thing that we've never seen? Uh, I'm human and we will just have to see. Sorry, I'm shedding. It bothers me when I have a hair on my sweater. I don't know why. I just have to get it. Um, but <laughs> this, this will be that kind of thing where... Um, just when you thought you saw it all, here comes something else. But this works in our favor. We'll be able to do something with this. Breaking free. Helps on the way. There it is. Turquoise, awaken your empathy. The number is 34, reduces to seven. That's that archangelic energy. And this turquoise, uh, awaken your empathy, it is saying, fix that wiring. If you have gone through something that has made you become a cluster B personality disorder type person. Get some help, get some support. Find your empathy again. Because you're running on kind of an empty tank here if you don't have your empathy. That's a big part of being human. I guess there is such a thing as a dark empath. I don't know, someone who uses it, they have the sensitivity, but they use it against people. Check with an expert on that, I'm not an expert. But definitely this is find your light. That's how we would put it in the spiritual community, find your light, find your empathy, find the way that you can connect with 
others during this time because that's how we're going to get our power back and that's how we're going to be able to create the lives that we were made to experience not something where we're being in constant manipulation or um, being used or whatever and that means on an individual level too where people are using one another to gain power and if somebody doesn't live up to someone else's expectations discarding them or whatever okay so work on the empathy work on the empathy if you're an empath make sure that you are not being an enabler make sure that you are not sacrificing yourself to, to help that's not what you're supposed to be doing and don't listen to practice I'm gonna say it straight out do not listen to practitioners who say we're the, we have so much light to give it's our job to share it no that's called codependency and it will eventually drain you completely of your life force that's not what you're here for you're here to be an example of light and yes you'll have wise words just at the right time that's a beautiful support but you're not here for people to feed off of you no okay again all these kind of weird narratives that get put out there to drain the light and when that happens how are we supposed to show up okay so just be aware of that for this week so thank you so much for liking and subscribing if you would like a personal reading just go to my website at angelsouls444.com yes i can do an akashic reading uh, for you just choose whatever time you want put that in the submission form make sure you're clear about that so i know what kind of reading i'm giving you and also if you would like to join the archangel michael or archangel metatron meditation challenges those are available over at gumroad.com angel souls i'm sending you all so much love and take care